Tyler, we, we need a new host for Pyramid Air videos. Okay. Uh, the old one, just not working out. And uh, I'm thinking you. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. You're photogenic. You look good. I, I'll take your word for uh, it. Thank you. I'm wow. Not confessing yet, but uh, right. I'm wow. thinking uh, like ASAP. Okay. What, what guns? Um, let's do Evening Rex. Okay. D109. Okay. Crossman M4177. Oh, that's a multi pump. Yeah. It's I, great. I will not do a multi pump. I love that gun. I won't do a multi pump. It's awesome, though. I don't care. I won't do a multi pump. These arms not, the are not built for pumping. Job? No. That's my one condition. Mm. Take it or leave it. You let me know. I, now, nope, I'm out. So, uh, how about Daisy 880? That's a multi pump, pal. Yeah, we talked about this. Tyler. Yeah. Um, uh, a great new dragonfly. The multi pump? Yeah. Get out of here. Don't. I told you not to come at me with that crap. Tyler? Yeah, Val. Great idea. Dragonfly Mark II. Multi-pump. Multi-pump? Yeah. What's different? It's easy to pump. Why? You'll see. The Dragonfly Mark II comes to us in Air Venturi's Seneca line. This guy was announced at the 2022 SHOT Show, although we saw something called the Butterfly that looks really similar uh, a couple of years prior that never hit the market. So this is the kind of rebranded and finished version of that gun that was announced all those years ago. Uh, some nice cool enhancements, some patented technologies as well built into this gun. Uh, and personally, I said I'd never review a multi-pump gun just because because I don't want to pump it a million times. But this thing is actually really intriguing and I'm glad we're gonna take a look at it today. Let's dive in. Starting at the front of the gun, we do have a threaded muzzle on this gun. One of the few multi-pumps that does you thread off the smooth part here. This is actually a two-piece adapter, but this is gonna reveal half-inch UNF threads, one half 20 for your moderators, suppressors, what have you. Uh, you can actually thread the knurled end off as well, although you don't need to for anything. So that's a cool little feature that doesn't get added into multi-pumps a lot. Now moving back from that threaded muzzle, we do have a red fiber optic front sight and a fully adjustable rear sight. One thing to note about that rear sight, it is removable. You can see I've got a little bit of clearance there with my scope, uh, but for those of you that are mounting a different scope, this is a three to nine by 32 leapers, but if you were to go with something with a 40 millimeter objective, you are gonna have to remove that. It's one screw and then you knock it off. It's super easy and obviously goes back into place just as easily. Now our scope is mounted onto an 11 millimeter dovetail that's built into the breech here and dropping down you do have a bolt action system. Now in the gun currently we have the single shot tray which comes with it but it also includes a magazine. Now this gun's available in 177 and 22. In 22 we have a seven round mag, it's a nine round mag in 177 and that loads real nice and simple into the breech. Very easy system to use. Loading the magazine's a breeze as well. You do have a safety that is a push button style safety so that's safe that's hot you can see the little red ring right there uh, you can decock the gun as well just by putting it on fire holding that bolt back pulling the trigger you hear it release and you're good and safe now the trigger is non-adjustable but i can tell you it has a nice two-stage feel to it nice take up comes to a solid wall and releases it is a little on the heavy side but not bad certainly usable as a pest control rig hunting gun what have you uh, the stock overall nice hardwood stock here it does have a raised cheek piece on that right left hand side of the stock for right-handed shooters i think a lefty is going to have no problem with this as well but it is not a raised cheek piece on that side uh, you do have a rubber butt pad at the back and then working our way forward to the heart of the gun here is the patented butterfly high efficiency pump system so you look at everything that's going on there you've probably never seen something like this on a multi-pump gun before let me explain to you what's going on here 
Now this is a patented pump system invented by a guy by the name of Bob Moss, a very interesting system that was originally developed for the Benjamin 392, 397 line of rifles that never really made it into production. There were a handful of guns out there, uh, but basically Air Venturi got their hands on this patent working with Bob to integrate it into the Dragonfly model. The Dragonfly, the original, was a notoriously hard pumping rifle. It was rated up to eight pumps and was by the eighth pump, 35 or 40 pounds of effort to close that pump arm. This reduces that pumping effort to around 15 pounds across the board. It does not get any harder as you pump, which is very atypical for a multi-pump rifle. This is the only time I've ever seen something like this. It's super interesting. Uh, and because it is so easy to pump, you can pump it to eight pumps with a breeze, uh, but it is rated all the way up to 15 pumps and they're getting a max velocity of around 730 feet per second in that 22 caliber. It's higher in 177, uh, but this pump system really makes this gun different than everything else that's on the market uh, and a real pleasure to use. I, obviously in our pre-testing, I've been pumping the hell out of this thing uh, and it's worked flawlessly, no issues. And other than personal fatigue as I pump it a million times, it's super easy to operate and really an impressive system. Now, just to demonstrate this for you while we're here, before we head out to the range, you do have to cock the gun to go ahead and start pumping it for it to build pressure. If you don't cock the gun, uh, it will actually just vent out. So something to keep in mind there. But with the gun on safe, with the action cocked, there's nothing to this, guys. Really simple. And it's the same every time. You can just keep going and going and going. Redundant enough for you. So this is a very simple system, nice, smooth, and pretty elegant in my opinion. Obviously the fit of that stock where these pieces come together is really seamless. Uh, very nice finish quality on this for a $200 gun. Uh, for those of you that remember the original Dragonfly, in my opinion, this is a massive upgrade, not just in the ease of use and efficiency, but also in the look. It just has a nicer look to it. I love the fact that they've got the half inch uh, UNF threads there on the end, but let's get to the important stuff. Let's head out to the range, test it for accuracy, see what it'll do over the chronograph, get some sound levels for you, and then we'll come back and wrap it up. Quick pro tip for you guys as I'm shooting this here and realizing kind of the best way to operate it from a pumping perspective, you know, the normal thought is that you're going like that. Uh, that clack right there, while not super loud compared to other multi-pumps, uh, you do have control over it as you're coming in. You can go nice and slow, but here's the real nice key thing. Instead of having to close it all of the way, you can actually come back down just to here, and that is a full pump. You don't want to shoot it like this, but when you're pumping, Coming back just to here is going to save you some time and it's going to be a little bit quieter for those of you in the woods. All right, now I'm going to show you all these pumps because this is going to take a minute and I'm going to need to take off my jacket. So before we get to our 45 yard accuracy results, just so you guys know, did about 10 different pellets out at 45 yards because those were shooting really well at 25 yards where I did all of my pre-testing. We also only pumped the gun eight times. I did that because the previous version of the Dragonfly was a max of eight pumps. And quite frankly, if it performs at eight pumps, it's probably going to perform at 15 pumps or 10 pumps, wherever you decide to pump it up to max as well. So taking a look at our results, at an inch and a half group, you have the JSB 18 13s 
four out of five there in about a three quarter inch group, which is not too bad. Again, your mileage may vary. Uh, moving on to the H&M Barracudas, which are going to give us the most power, right about 17 foot pounds, an inch and three eighths, five shot group out there. And then moving on down the H&N 18 grains, those new Barracuda 18s, an inch and a quarter for all five. Again, not too bad, but by far the absolute best. Crossman Premier 14.3 domes, a uh, half inch group, five shots at 45 yards. This is absolutely stellar. Uh, was not one of the best pellets at that 25 yard distance. So it was good, but not great. And uh, pretty much stayed the same from 25 out to 45, which is super impressive. So those Crossman Premiers, a definite winner in the Dragonfly. And quite frankly, I'm a little surprised that we're getting this good of accuracy out of it at 45 yards. Wasn't expecting that but certainly very happily surprised with the Dragonfly. Looking over our chronograph numbers, we decided to chronograph all four pellets that we used in our accuracy testing and test them at 5, 8, 10, and 15 pumps respectively. Now what strikes me is that you're getting good energy at five pumps if you wanna do short range pest work, just under 12 foot pounds. And with just three extra pumps going up to eight, we do see a pretty big increase in velocity and energy there, which is gonna be great. You don't have to go all the way up to 15 if you don't want to. And what you'll notice and what strikes me is that the jump between five and eight pumps is more significant in terms of the amount of velocity gained than the jump between 10 and 15. Now don't get me wrong, it's great to have 17 foot-pounds of energy at your fingertips, but 10 is still getting you 15 and a half. There's nothing wrong with that either. So for me, what I'm questioning is the actual necessity to go to 15. Do you have to? Probably not. But if you want that energy, you can certainly go there and it's still easy to do thanks to that butterfly system. All right, let's wrap up the Dragonfly Mark II. Uh, if you compare this gun to the original Dragonfly, this is a massive upgrade, uh, some big improvements built into this. Obviously, the big one being this high efficiency pump system. Uh, the Butterfly pump system is awesome. I gotta say, if I had to pump a regular multi-pump 600 times or so, which is what we did for the accuracy testing portion of this, that would have been brutal, but with this, it was relatively easy. A little bit of arm fatigue, but overall not too bad. A lot of nice features outside of that built into this gun as well. Obviously, you have repeater capability with a bolt action system, and you have a threaded muzzle, which is a huge upgrade, something we should see on more air guns in my opinion. Uh, but obviously, that butterfly pump system is the key point of this gun. The fact that it's taken this long for somebody to build this into a multi-pump is really uh, quite astonishing, honestly, since it's been out there a while, but glad to see it's finally getting done really makes this gun a dream to use for youth shooters uh, if you aren't the strongest person in the world but you still want to multi-pump something that's self-contained going to give you decent power up to 17 foot pounds here in 22 this is a real winner in my opinion and obviously half inch accuracy at 45 yards definitely has the goods and performs well at range too for the insider i'm tyler patner it's been a pleasure as always my friends don't forget to like comment subscribe let us know what you think of the gun if you're going to pick one up and don't forget to follow us on facebook and instagram as well we appreciate it a ton we'll see you next time